What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Join us now as we look at this week's edition of SmackDown, as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including, is Triple H preparing us for the worst? Triple H confirms WWE draft? Brock Lesnar name dropped? The Rock pissed off with a fan at the Hall of Fame? A new era? Are we going to get weather problems at WrestleMania and much more? Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. As always, we won't recap the matches, but just look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the good as number one, beatdown on the bloodline. A SmackDown ended on a high note as babyfaces Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, and Jey Uso got some payback on the bloodline after two weeks of taking a shellacking. Granted, the babyfaces didn't get their hands on the final boss or Roman Reigns, nor should they because that moment needs to happen at WrestleMania, but they got enough payback to enjoy some moments going into Night 1's big match. Number 2. Judgment Day Run This Place The Judgment Day has been plagued by dissension and distractions over the last few weeks, but last night's beatdown on the New Catch Republic was a great way to remind the WWE Universe just how dangerous Raw's rogue faction can be. Judging from the looks of things, the WWE may have written off New Catch Republic, opening the door for another team to take its place at the six-pack challenge for the Undisputed Tag Team Championship. Number 3. Andrade turns on Legado del Fantasma Andrade's apparent alliance with Legado del Fantasma didn't last long, but then again, was anyone besides Santos Escobar and company astonished? It's been obvious since his return that he has little use for Escobar and his crew. Andrade lending a hand to Rey was exciting nonetheless, even if it wasn't a surprise. The real surprise will be Rey Mysterio discovers the person responsible for Dragon Lee's injury, and chances are he'll discover this during his match against Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. But do we think it's Carlito? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 4. Orton and KO turn the tables on Logan Paul Babyfaces are often depicted as gullible against heel tricks, but not with Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Both superstars have been around the block, including plenty of runs as heels where they did their opponents dirty, enough that they weren't going to fall for Logan Paul's latest underhanded tactics. Showing the Viper and the Price Fighter outsmarting Logan Paul was essential to keep both veterans from looking like saps after weeks of being outplayed by the Maverick. Number 5. Good last minute hype for WrestleMania while SmackDown's WrestleMania build-up has been compared to Raw's, last night's show was the right blend of build-up and entertaining matches, angles, and promos. It was also good to see the WWE show some restraint with its hype videos, providing plenty of real-time action instead of endless hype videos for WrestleMania. If ever the adage, a show don't tell, was apropos, it was last night. An LA Knight promo Whether you think LA Knight is a poor man's version of The Rock or a strong character in his own right, there's no getting around that he's entertaining. Last night's promo was typical LA Knight, but as fans know, his typical is light years beyond many wrestlers' best. But that was a good what about the bad, as Andre the Giant Battle Royal, good idea but lousy in execution from day one. Is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal an idea whose time has passed? Frankly, the Battle Royal has never been anything special. On paper, the idea is great. Honoring the superstar considered the king of the battle royals with an annual match at WrestleMania or the day before, while also giving WWE superstars a chance to capture a moment of glory. Regrettably, the WWE has failed in its execution of the event, not because of the match itself, but because it's treated as a throwaway match where the winner is quickly forgotten and their career receives no benefit from the win. Don't believe us? Name two winners of the event besides Bronson Reed. Now, there was nothing downright ugly. A well-paced SmackDown that was fun, whetted fans' appetite for WrestleMania weekend. All I can say is I'm hyped right now. Are you guys? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, let's move on to the news. Now, first story looks at Triple H preparing us for the worst. Is Triple H preparing WWE fans for a letdown when Cody Rhodes loses to Roman Reigns? Some fans and industry observers are pointing to some recent comments from the game as a sign that the Sunday's main event may not end on a happy note unless you're a fan of the Tribal Chief. Consider these comments from Hunter during a chat with Pat McAfee. People are going to nitpick everything. It's just the way it is. They're going to have their moments that they love. They're going to have their moments that they didn't like, whatever. They're all going to analyze the booking and the finishes and everything that we do. They're going to overanalyze all of it. You said it earlier about Roman and Rock. People always go like, oh, we should have got that. They should have done this. It doesn't end. Our wrestling fans are no different than any other consumers of entertainment mediums such as books, TV shows, and films. Helmsley added that WWE is a never-ending story. You know what happens at 11pm on Sunday night when WrestleMania is over? The second night of WrestleMania is over? Someone hands me the sheets for Raw the next night and I start looking at that show because, and we've already been looking at it, but the story continues. When you get to the end of the best chapter in the book that you've ever read, you flip the page and there's a whole new chapter or there's a whole new volume. 
There are only mistakes if that's the end, right? But it's never the end. It's never the end. The story continues. A wrestling has sometimes been compared to soap operas due to its serial storytelling. But do you think Triple H is bracing fans for a Cody loss? Or is he just swerving us? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE PLEs on Netflix. Could Netflix add the WWE's PLEs to its content when the WWE's deal with Peacock ends? During an interview with Logan Paul, Triple H mentioned whether Netflix, which recently signed a 10-year deal to stream Raw beginning in 2025, would want more WWE content when it becomes available. I think at the end of the day, it would seem odd to me for them to say, we want Raw, that's it, we're good. That doesn't seem to be how they're doing business. I think at some point down the road when SmackDown comes up, it's that something of interest to them. Down the road when the PLEs come up on Peacock, that's probably something of interest to them. It makes for interesting times and a really promising future. If the WWE continues to crush it with television, live events and PLEs, count on its next rights deal commanding top dollar. Do you think Netflix will land the rights to the WWE Network and PLEs? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Triple H confirms WWE Draft. Is the WWE still going to hold a superstar draft now that Vince McMahon is gone from the WWE? During his appearance on Logan Paul's Impulsive show, Triple H revealed that the draft is coming and fans should expect it in a month or so. Triple H says a new era is coming. And whilst we're on the topic of Triple H and on the Pat McAfee show, he also mentioned that the next couple of days is the launching pad of this new era. Just getting started and they're just getting started at the beginning of it. It's about to explode and you ain't seen nothing yet. This place is about to be on fire. What do you think this new era should be called? Should it be the Renaissance era? Or should it be the Triple H era? Even Paul Heyman mentioned this in his induction speech last night at the Hall of Fame. Next up, Brock Lesnar name dropped. A Paul Heyman's induction speech into the 2024 Hall of Fame class is garnering praise for its many memorable moments. But like Paul Heyman, it wouldn't be complete without a bit of controversy. Heyman gave the WWE Universe something to talk about when he name dropped his former client Brock Lesnar two different times. Some fans were surprised when the WWE didn't include Lesnar in the Paul Heyman tribute video that aired, although that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who's been following the Janelle Grant lawsuit against McMahon, Laurinaitis, and the WWE. But Heyman made sure to mention the beast, including this line. They cancelled me in ECW, and who did I end up with? The one in 21-1, Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman was an integral part of Brock's success in the WWE, but Heyman gained considerable clout by being paired with such a generational talent. If you haven't checked out the speech, go and check it out now. It's truly amazing. Next up, The Rock was pissed off with a fan at the Hall of Fame. A recent interaction between The Rock and a fan is making the rounds. As The Rock was exiting the ring after he gave an induction speech honoring 2024 Hall of Fame class member Leah Mayavia, The Rock walked up to a fan at ringside leading to an exchange where the fan appears to say, Cody's coming for you, only for The Rock to reply, no, what'd you say before that? Watch your effing mouth. Some fans are speculating the fan also said something that such as your story's over or something downright disrespectful such as talking about The Rock's grandmother. However, some fans think this is The Rock playing his final boss character and that the so-called fan may have been a plant. Next up, Hall of Fame format fizzling. Does the WWE need to change its format for the Hall of Fame ceremony? Well, consider this report from WrestleVotes who mentioned Wells Fargo Center staff is actively encouraging the remaining fans here at the Hall of Fame to move their seats in order to fill up the TV side. While the Paul Heyman speech was spectacular, this iteration of the Hall of Fame needs to be reconsidered. The post-Smackdown start time just doesn't work. The logistics of the Hall of Fame have been a problem for years as the WWE has tried to balance how long it runs, when it runs, and who should attend it. Do you think it should just go back to its old format? No fans? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Roman Reigns' surprise comments at the Hall of Fame. Was Roman Reigns working the fans during his speech honoring Paul Heyman's induction into the Hall of Fame? The remarks from the Tribal Chief already has fans talking and saying, the moment I'm not with a wise man is the moment you won't see the Tribal Chief anymore. There's plenty of speculation about the finish to Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes, including Paul Heyman betraying Roman for The Rock. If this happens, it could lead to a sabbatical for Roman, who's already rumored to be taking time off to Mania, although a retirement is unlikely. Next up, weather problems for WrestleMania. It looks like it's going to be a cold night for fans attending WrestleMania at Lincoln Financial Field. Fans I mentioned a recent weather forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Per AccuWeather, the temperature for WrestleMania 40 on Saturday night is expected to be a low of 38 degrees with 10 mile per hour winds. As for Sunday night, it'll be a low of 37 degrees with 6 mile per hour winds. PW Insider is reporting that the WWE has already set up a heated ring, much as it did when WrestleMania 35 was held at the MetLife Stadium. And finally, is Logan Paul getting an extra special entrance? Last but not least, is Logan Paul getting a special entrance for his United States Championship defense? That story is coming from PW Insider, which notes it's believed Paul's entrance will have a tie-in with his Prime Energy drink, which is a WWE sponsor, and rumor has it some sort of Prime truck may be used. 
But there you have it folks, our look at Smackdown as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.